choice is required. The choice may be uh, request to type. So, what exactly the request he wants or what type of request he wants? This is also mandatory. Okay, here it is showing. Okay, so choice field. <coughs> Just note it. Okay, see here choice. Choice looks like this one. The category is a choice field where it have these many values. Okay, state is a choice field where it have these many values. Okay, so there are two ways to create a choice field. Okay, one way is first this page is same. Okay, now you are creating a choice field request to type. Okay, and don't submit always, just save it first. Save. Okay, once I save it, observe here, observe here. Okay. So now there is nothing. Now once you save it, you will get something. Right? So you got choices. Okay. So now you need to define the choices. So it's a choice field. Once you save it, okay, you need to define what are the choices you want it. Okay. So this is the first way of defining the choices. Okay. So now what choices we want? Just tell me ma. So new uh, construction, right? So maybe a new building new new construction request okay just say like this maybe sequence means sequence means numbers ma. how you want to display i want i am just covering it okay so first value is not passed new i will just say new cons new construction value also i took it <coughs> okay so see here it comes like this we created a choice now it comes like this we set new construction okay now i will be creating more choices but i don't be going back and creating new choice again okay so here okay here only first important thing is choices will go and store in separate table called sys underscore choice table okay i think i forgot to mention this something important okay but i will cover now Okay, choice. Okay, so choices will go and store in sys underscore choice table now. Okay, this is first important thing, but the missing important thing is columns. Okay, the table information will go and store in table. Uh, the okay, let's finish this one. Okay, I'll come to this one. Okay, I will come to come to this one maybe in two seconds. Choices information will go on store in choice table. Okay. Now I am creating multiple choices. Okay. For our, my requirement. Na? So here I am in record. I am in one record. I want to create something else from the same page. On the same table. Okay. See. Uh, construction. First remodeling. Okay. Remodeling. I can give back and work. Back and name as something. I can give the same name also. So see, I changed the values, ma. Okay, but I'm not saving it. If I save it now, nah, it will update. I will do is insert and stay. That means it is save as. Okay, insert or insert and stay. Insert means it will go. It will copy a new one and then go out of this particular navigation. Insert and stay means it will copy a new record with the same modifiers and it will stay in the same page. That means. What I did is I created a new field, okay, using the same reference. So if you see here, insert and stay, nothing I did. I created a new one. So instead of going back, creating a new choice and all, it's time waste. So what you do is rework. Construction, first thing, rework. What else, ma? Uh, site buying. Please give me, ma, options. Okay, site. So maybe just keep 300. Construction related, please give some ideas what type of request we can create. 300, insert and stay. Third one created. So, real estate, no? construction, new building, old building, uh, apartment. Okay, maybe apartment. The material required, sir. Hmm. Okay, my apartment. Four. We can keep all the possibilities. Okay. Uh, Material selling only materials, maybe that also we will up materials. Okay, so 500. So, something like type can be anything, ma. Okay, the customer can ask 
come and ask any type of this request and we will support them all okay so five choices i created okay now it is difficult to go back um, one second sir what is that sequence number sequence number is the one which how you are seeing the numbers here 100 200 okay if you don't alphabetical arranging okay, if you don't give any sequence number it will take a b c d but now i am giving sequence number this is the first one 100 200 300 400 500 we can give one two three also no, sir? that is a very important question i will cover it <laughs> I will I will cover it. Okay, so this uh, this 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 one is completed. Huh? You are all clear with the table uh, choice field. Choice field, you you are fine. Yeah, maybe we have to refer one, sir. You went little fast. Maybe for us it is little fast. Okay, I created a field called request type. Okay, and first time I saved it. Once I saved it, I got this one, choices, for this choice field choices are important i started creating choices i created five choices where is that i created five choices here new created one instead of coming back and say new i was open in the same page i changed some values and i said insert and stay insert and stay means it's the same record values but the last changed values save as you are in a file if you say save as you now what will happen it will copy a new file so similarly, instead of going away from this page, I used insert and stay to create multiple choices. So now, under this choice field, we have five choices. The same five choices are arranged using sequence. Okay, and they are showing here. Where is that one? Here. Is that clear? Ma? No confuse. Don't confuse. Simple. Clear, sir. Yeah, clear. So now the question is. Why I need to give 100, 200, 300? Why can't I give 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? This is a very important question. Okay, now tell me I give 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, now tomorrow, okay, the customer, you moved this application to production, they are using it. After some two months, they came up and say, okay, add one cho new choice. Okay, I want a new choice, and the choice should come here after remodeling. The choice is something XYZ. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, I want a new choice in 3. Third place. Okay, the choice name is ABC something. So, now what you do is, you will go here. Okay, and you create, where is that? Uh, you create a new choice here. Okay, ABC or XYZ, you give the name. But sequence number, you have to give 3. Okay, in, with the 3, there is already 1. So, you give 3 for new 1. And you need to change this one to 4, this one to 5, this one to 6. Agree? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So how many changes are coming? One change plus additionally three more changes. Instead of that, if we have some gap, okay, system-wise both work same. Okay. But if you have this gap between 200 to 300, you can choose any number. 2001, 201 you will give, or 250 you give for the new field. So that will be existed in between, and you no need to change the other field values. Okay, got it. This sir. is kind of trick we use in arranging patterns. Ma. Okay. <laughs> so that it should not affect the existing arrange pattern when you are adding a new entry. So keeping uh, this one in a wider way, better we always prefer uh, this gap when you are ordering numbers okay if you just give some cons uh, the uh, consequences number one two three four five something okay if you whenever you want to order something you have to change every pattern it is very difficult to manage the data keep see uh, everything you do our final agenda is data maintenance okay so here i need instead of doing four changes let's say you have 100 choices 20 choices so now you are adding a new field here okay so for that you have to give one and then after that how many choice values like 17 choices you have to change the value <coughs> which is very difficult to maintain right so this is i'll just finish in another five three minutes ma okay please bear with me three minutes okay, this is first way of creating choices clear choice uh, sir, small question so uh, if you want to add a choice before new construction request can we give 99 
for that new one? We can give it, ma'am. Any, okay. any number you can give it. It is not like 100, 200, or 99 also we can give. It. Okay, if you want to give a new one, okay, we can give 99, 0 to 99. That is also a good question, yeah. Okay, 99 will come, uh, the new one will come first, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Numbering, yes. That is also a good question, ma'am. Okay, good. So, right. If you ask more questions, it will delay, ma'am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, nothing, nothing. Please ask questions. So, this is the way, this is the first way of creating choices. This is clear, Amma. We are only seeing the choice type of field. Choice type of field, okay, will, uh, is a special field where we can create choice type of fields, okay. And choices, choices will go on store in a sys underscore choice table and this is how you create a choices. And this is how the first method of creating choices. Clear? Please confirm. Please, please, please confirm. Yeah, yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. Okay, so the next one is we create another field using the chain, same choices type. Okay, and the field uh, is for state of the ticket. Maybe I created a ticket. I want to track the state. Okay, so choice type only. Okay, and uh, just say request state. Just give state or request to state or construction state, ticket state, anything you, you can give it. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and just save once, same how you see in the same way. Okay, and now see, I don't be using the first method of creating choices. Okay, this is first method, we already seen it, no? So the second method is, go here, choice list specification, just see this one. Okay, and here, what is this? Give me one second. Sorry, ma'am, advanced view. We are not seeing everything. Hmm. Okay. We need to load all these things. Okay. So, see here. Okay. Now, we will be using this this particular one. This option. Okay. What this option will do is. Okay. See state. Okay. We are seeing state value. Right. State. State is to capture or track the uh, ticket state. Right, so in progress, completed, incompleted, and all. Okay, so you have some image already. So, in an incident table, or a problem table, or a change table, or some XYZ table, okay, there is this field called state, and you, you have already an image, you want to use the same image. I feel like, okay, my requirement is also same. I also want the same six fields, say six choices. Okay, so now I, ha I, I already have a image. I want these six uh, choices to come to me. Instead of creating the choices, okay, down, new, in progress, completed, work in progress, cancelled and all. What I do is, see, just see, use dependent field, okay, select the table that you want to get it. What is? Sorry, ma, not this field, ma, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, sorry, this table, this one, okay, sorry, 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 so this table, choice table, okay, so I want to get this incident, okay, incident which field, state field, okay, so it's a kind of inheritance, okay, so I am taking the image of existing table, existing field for my choices, I already have the state field with the same image that I am looking for in a different table. Okay, and I am using the same image to get the choices in my table. Okay, our table is u underscore construction table. Okay, so now if I save this one, right, okay, the choices of this incident state field, okay, will not show here because it's not created, but it will inherit, it will automatically call them. You are referencing to the same values from sys underscore uh, choice table. Okay. So, you no need to again create it. So, you are using the existing resources. Right. So, if you create a new one, it again creates a new record and sys underscore user table. But now, you are using the existing same choices. So, if you go and see sys underscore choice table. Okay. This is what you are doing. If you use the second method. Okay. So, 
you are using this method right so that means you are going here and uh, element is equal to state okay and maybe which table incident table okay so you are from your table you want you underscore construction table you are also referring the same values which are already there in the system okay if you create new one say new i want again if i create new here you will be having another new okay you will be having another new okay you will get it but the table is different instead of creating again a new and all maybe what i am simply doing is i am just using the existing resources okay you can either create this way the choices or you can generally create your own way either both are same but when we see when we are seeing a choice type this is how we can create a choice field and this is how the values will store in it respect to table sys underscore choice table and this is how you can create choices maintain choices two ways right now am i clear